Like this notion that the quarterback has to be the guy to win, mm. it feels like it's easing its way out of the out of the reality. Now, at some point, you do have to have a quarterback. You know what I mean? You do have to have a guy um, like an Aaron Rodgers who can bring a team back. Not that he did. Not that he played well. That's another takeaway from this game that I think Aaron Rodgers is like mm-hmm. st- like stoop on that pedestal. Is uh, you got to knock that down a few pegs. But that's 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 that, we'll get to that. We'll one get to in, it in a second. But like the dominance of some of these run teams, it, it just gives you an idea that some GMs or coaching staffs or organizations are saying, we're going about this the wrong way. And like we don't need to go find our, our, our elite superstar quarterback and then go get three or four elite wide receivers to pair them with because it's a passing league. If you're not throwing for 5,000 yards, you're not winning. Somewhere back – in the minds of, of GMs, and John Lynch is one because of, we know where he his history, where he come from, play good defense, uh, run the ball, don't turn the football over. They started doing the, the, the old school way. Let's build an offensive line. Yeah, right? They drafted the, McGlinchey. McGlinchey, yep. a couple is Joe Staley's Staley's still, still there. there I mean, sure. they got the, they're on opposite ends of the age spectrum. Yeah. But they, but they build an offensive line through free agency or the draft, and then you go get some running backs that are pretty good. Mostert, I didn't even realize this. He's been on six teams. Yeah. Six teams. That's he right. couldn't catch on with a six, and he th- rushes for 228, whatever it was, 28 yards and four touchdowns, right? And so it's not necessarily about the talent. It's about the the principles of team building, and certain teams have done that. Tennessee has done it for a long time. That's why they've been able to, you know, be nine and seven, not elite, but nine and seven for the last, what, three or four years because they, they play decent defense, and they're going to pound you with a run game, get a good offensive line. The San Francisco 49ers just take it to the extreme Mm -hmm. because their defense is so dominant uh, and their run game is explosive as a run game that you've seen since, I think, Seattle a few years ago. I I think it's better than that, for sure. Oh, it definitely is. I mean, but but, I mean, a a run dominant team. I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like the last time we saw a run dominant team Mm -hmm. with a guy who can rush for 150 yards on any given day. is probably the Seattle. I mean, the, the the Patriots ran the football, but it was. Wasn't really. No, I never felt you know like. I, mean? I never even felt remotely like this. No, Not even nothing like this. And, no. And so, but we're starting to see it a little bit yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. I, I do think it's going to kind of reset itself at some of point. I, I, I think it's all a cycle. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. It's a copycat league, and you not only do you copy, you know, innovative plans that you then implement for your team, but yeah. then by seeing somebody do something, you're like, whoa, we have to react to this. And I brought up to Tiki the other day. I said, I think that really what's happened is, you know, whether it's you know four or five, six years ago, somewhere in that window, as as tight ends began to emerge as big wide receivers, Mm -hmm. as Tiki likes to say, and and they were really, uh, you know, a a, a threat to go, not not just the the 17-yard, you know, catch and rumble and go down, but finish the job and take it 50, 60 yards to the house. What happens was, or what happened was, I think, is that teams start to change their personnel attack and and what they did in the war room, what they did on draft night, how they structured their defense. They started to go, wow, I mean, if this guy's running a, I'm just throwing out a number, a four, six, two, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we we can't have that 247 middle point middle line pound middle linebacker trying to you know run down the field with this guy so you got lighter players on the field and once lighter players go on the field the OC says if you're committed to this kind of a style that's great that's what we want that's now right. we shove it down your throat that's right but now I, I do think there'll be somewhat of an adjustment I, I, I think the thing that bothers me I heard this a lot today I don't think it's right I don't think it's accurate I don't think it's fair and I do think it's going to uh, resolve itself at the Super Bowl all right Jimmy Garoppolo, and not that he hasn't been disparaged today, but I think he's been overlooked in a lot of ways. And this the this is the problem with the immediacy of of a singular game and losing sight of months and months of football. Yeah. Why were the Niners hosting the game yesterday? Well, in large part because they went into the to the Superdome and they scored almost 50 points against the Saints, who at that point were a real threat to be mm-hmm. the top seed. That's right. I mean, you know, they didn't run for 700 yards that game. Nope. Jimmy Garoppolo was pretty good. That's right. So we, we overlooked these little things that at, but the bottom line with both teams, certainly the Niners, because they're more old school, I feel like more people do things, nah, that, that, that almost sounds ridiculous, but I think that both 
both teams are incredibly well run, incredibly well coached, diverse attacks. They're smart. And, and the two better teams won. Yeah. I mean, these were easy plays in my yeah, mind. Yeah, I think they really were easy plays. Kansas City, it, it felt like they were in trouble for a little bit at the beginning of the game. Did you feel that way? I didn't Not feel really, it all. Only because people were calling me or texting me and writing me, Tennessee's winning this game. And I'm like, is this a question mark yeah. or a statement? That was yeah. Well, response. what was their punctuation? It, it, there was none. Okay. You know, it's a text message. So you just no, get No, I have you, to punctuate you, you, text. Well, you oh, I do. Have to. I have because to. You're, you're, you're Mr. Literal. I, I, I have here. to. Trust but me nuts. I have to. A lot to. of people send ambiguity. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah. it's like, Tennessee's winning this game. And I'm like, wait, is this a question mark? Uh-huh. Or are you making it like a strong statement? I got so you. Like, is this a question mark or a statement? Like, it's a statement. What I'm did like, you think? I, I wasn't worried. I said, I said, I need to see it till halftime. Yep. And then we know what happened once you got to halftime. It's just a different, different football game. Pat Mahomes scrambles around oh. and goes, you know, bonkers and. Uh, you know, runs down the sideline. <laughs> like, I thought he was going to step out of bounds. He just stays in bounds. Yep. And then he gets, you know, within the 10-yard line. He's, he, and then he's determined. And, you know, defensive backs, I don't know if it's because they're afraid to hit quarterbacks or whatever it is. They just kind of let him just do what he wants to do. Forget, 35 here, I forget his name uh, for the Tennessee Titans or the defensive back. You see a quarterback on the 10-yard line? You put your sh- your helmet in his clavicle exactly and you try right. to break it. That's exactly right. Exactly what Kansas City did. <laughs> as violent as that what, sounds. What, which, which Kansas City did, uh, Sorson did. Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. When Tannehill was right trying here. to run out of the field, he just drilled him. That's you know? a good so hit. If a quarterback is going to stand up and be a runner, yep. you drill him. Yeah. A lot of DBs aren't doing that. No. Sorensen had a good, a big role in this Huge run. Role. He really did. Yeah, he did. You know, with the with stopping the fake punt with, mm-hmm. with Tennessee. Um, I don't know because I know that they were running through the whole sequence, but it's funny that you brought that up. If we can even, well, I guess you could run through the whole thing if you want, but if you could isolate the 27-yard touchdown run for TV purposes, because I wanted to point something out at the end. They were trying to strip Mahomes of the football. Yeah. They were trying to strip Mahomes. You you know, but, but it, it, not only do you have to be the aggressor there, that's obvious. But if you actually stop him, whether it's at the two or the four or the five, clock's ticking. Yeah. I mean, so what was there? Ten seconds left in the in, ten seconds left. Yeah. And they get at that point probably two plays at that point. I don't know if we. But I it's, not, we a guarantee, it's not a guaranteed but, touchdown though. Well, Tr- Tr- Tremaine Block Brock was the uh, defender. Well, that's what I'm saying. But if you don't go for the strip and you go for the tackle, yeah. And you break right there, try, right there, try to strip it. Yeah. You see him lit you. He. Pulls like he like he's trying to rip. no tackle him. Yeah, it did. And come you might only give up a field goal. It did come loose, but it was too late. And he did. It, it, hey, he scored a touchdown. He did. I don't know if it would have mattered, but you know that's you get superior players and superior will at home. Sometimes it was freezing, by the way. Yeah, out there. Not that that had a, a big impact on the game, but it just felt like after that 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 long drive that Tennessee had. It, it kind of shut down a little bit. Like they, they How about the first one they got the field goal. Well, no, no, the second one where they went in eighty or whatever it was, um, eight minutes, eight and a half, almost nine minutes yep. driving, scored a touchdown. After that, they weren't the same team. They had anymore. nothing after that. They had absolutely nothing. Not, they, that, not that they, you know, blew it all in on that drive because that's not. They've been doing that the whole their whole season. But I don't know. It just felt like the conditions or. I don't know. I don't whatever it was. It didn't feel. Well, like I just the think the better team. team won. I don't know that it I could have been seventy-five and tropical. At the end of the day, that's I mean, ultimately it. Kansas City's better. Kansas City can score. Yeah, when they need to.